All right, welcome back to another tutorial series. Today we have volume three, which is understanding skill points and balancing your diet. Should be a quick one, so let's get started. Okay, here we are at Go's restaurant. Now, Go Hell Dragon is a player on my server who really cornered the market on the food and has managed to make so much money and be so successful at selling food that they have tons and tons of free skill points. Now, if you look down at the bottom right, you'll see a pie chart with four different kinds of nutrition, carbs, proteins, fats, and vitamins. Next to it is a bread icon plus four, plus a number. This is your skill points provided by from food per 24 hours. So right now I'm getting 47 skill points per hour, per 24 hours. Below that is a button for the skills, and below that again is your housing skill bonus, which we will talk about in a different video. But if you want more skill points, eating good quality food and getting a nice house with lots of furniture is a surefire way of getting more, more skill points. Now in the beginning of the game, you shouldn't worry about all of these different kinds of foods. You should be looking for charred items like charred beets, charred camas bulbs, tomatoes, and corn, which you make from the campfire, charred beans for protein. Another really good source of, of food and protein and fat are fish in the beginning. But you need higher quality food to get more skill points. You can easily get around 60 skill points about midway through the game if you have a chef who can make lots of good quality stuff. This leads players to think that, oh, we have to get more and more chefs and more and more farmers and by mid game well there's usually a big problem with servers where every single person is either a farmer or a chef or dabbling in one of the two so be wary of this if you join a server and there are already some cooks go be an engineer go be a road builder go make houses you know you don't need to focus only on on chef and only on farming if other players can do it that means that you can do different things now, really quickly, let's go ahead and look at some of the items that he has available on his store. Now, these are all the charred things. You obviously can see that there's some sausage, fish, charred meat, which you get from hunting. Going down, you get more complicated things like roasts, and then eventually salads and soups. This is stock. Stock is good for single individual nutrient values. Really complicated mixes, and the food gets more and more and more complicated. And eventually, you get into baking and really advanced things but until then um, until then your primary concern should be balancing each four quadrants of that pie chart if you do that then you will easily be able to have a higher skill point get more things done and successfully play the game okay all right guys thanks again like if you like hate if you hate subscribe if you want more